Welcome back. The name Blatt is synonymous with success on the football field here in the state of Iowa. Kurt Blatt had 422 wins over the course of more than 40 years as a head coach and holds the record for most playoff appearances with 37 and another record for most state championships, 11 of them to be exact. Now, his son Todd is in year two as the head coach of Harlan and doing all he can to carry on that Blatt legacy. A lot of learning curve on it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a pretty good outlet, uh, you know, that I can kind of reference and, and bounce ideas off of uh, with my dad there. The emphasis! Todd has learned quickly, and that won't stop. Well, there's a lot of things I can improve about myself, so I'm um, just going to keep looking to get better and improve on where we're at. He's been there. He's won state titles himself, coaching and playing. So having him around, it helps a lot, actually. There was a lot of learning for Todd and the Little Cyclones after last year, coming up one win shy of a state title. One word sums up how that game went. Ugly. We got a lot we can fix about it. We watched film on it many of times. We got improved a bunch of things, and we'll come back this year. Heartland certainly has improved. Owners of a 6-0 record with that loss fueling the fire. We're always happy to get to the championship game. Of course, we want to win it. It's never fun going there and losing. So, of course, coming back this year, we want to go down there and get another win and win the whole thing this year. Tegan Casper Bauer will be a big part of that if they can pull it off. The junior quarterback is thriving after having a steep learning curve of his own in 2020. Oh! Man, is he growing. He's learning so quick and he's making better decisions here and there. I'm getting experience under my belt, it's a big part. Getting the year and then we got a great group of guys around me just helping out. That'd be in the run game with Aiden Hall and Casper Bauer's go-to targets, Connor Frame, Jacob Birch, and Joey Moser. Aiden Hall's picking up real great this year. Joey moving to the flanker position, he does a great job there. He's played there for two years now. It's awesome having him back. Again, learning has been the key for Harlan from top to bottom. If they can apply what they've learned, the little Cyclones could find themselves in the dome by season's end. We're going to go there and get a state title, and that's what we got on our mind. You want to go that way? As for Todd Blatt, like his dad, he isn't looking that far down the road. We're going to go one at a time, one play at a time, one game at a time, one moment at a time. And and uh, if that's if that comes to fruition, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for these guys to even be there and play and, and get after it. The Little Cyclones will be the visiting team in our Friday Night Blitz game of the week on Local 5 as they visit ADM tomorrow night, 7 p.m. kickoff. We'll get you all the action from across central Iowa here on Local 5 starting at 1035. Once again, that is the Friday Night Blitz. Stephanie.